All right, from the hardwood over to the ice, we're bringing back Lydia for some look at local hockey right now. Lydia. All right, Ryan, thank you for that. So we do want to start with the Tucson Roadrunners who had home ice, uh, a home ice game on Thursday, and they hosted the San Diego Goals. The Roadrunners took their name to heart, and they ran away with an easy win there. 6-2, to two, the Fido and that one. They look to score more goals against the Goals tonight. <laughs> that game starts at 7 inside the TCC. And I was just there inside of the Tucson Convention Center. And it, it is a bit of a strange concept when you think about it. Hockey in the desert, but popularity for the sport. It is growing here in the old Pueblo. And I went to check out one league that is providing hockey fans a place to play. I just love to be on the ice as much as possible. It's something about it I just love. Men and women from around Tucson are lacing up their ice skates to hit the ice inside the Tucson Convention Center for some hockey. It is competitive, um, it's good pace, it's great workout. And again, we have players as old as 80 years old that are still out here playing. About 16 years ago, Danny Plattner was part of the creation of the Tucson Adult Hockey League. We're full every year. We've, we've always had a waiting list every single year. The love for the game started at a young age for Plattner. I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri. When I was four years old, my dad took me to a St. Louis Blues hockey game and I absolutely fell in love with the speed of the sport. And for many, that love gets passed down. My son was getting a little lazy on the ice and so I said I would be better than him because uh, I knew how to, I thought I knew how to play hockey and it was a little harder than I thought. So are you better than him? No, absolutely not. He is significantly better than me. Aaron Asbell is a state trooper by day and hockey player by night. He tells me his kids got him into playing the game. On the ice, I play forward, so just go and try to attack the puck and uh, shoot it in. For others, it reminds him a little bit of home. So I moved here from Buffalo like two years ago and was looking for a hockey league to play here. So how successful have you been as the goalie? Pretty good. Um, we won the championship last season, so that was good. And we just won our shootout game last uh, last game, so yeah, pretty good. Plattner tells me playing on the ice where the Roadrunners play has helped interest grow. Because we know that we do have consistent ice time, so that's a big deal. Uh, Roadrunners, when they have games, the ice has to be in, right? Danny tells me before the Tucson Roadrunners came to town, they had about 12 teams. Once the Roadrunners hit the ice, that grew to about 22 teams. Everybody loves it. I, you know, we, we have, it's been positive feedback over the years. Everyone's very much appreciative. They know that we're working professionals and we do this on the side and it does take up a lot of our time, but we're happy to do it. After a day of working their day job, a little bit of hockey goes a long way. <laughs> They had a lot of fun out there. So if you want to join, you do need to know how to ice skate at least. I have a link to learn more about the Tucson Adult Hockey League with this story on Kega9.com.